This will be a, an unboxing of the Intel Core i5 2500K socket LGA1155. Unlocked and unleashed, hence the K designation. K, Core i5 2500K, four cores, four way a multi task processing, four, four threads. Intel Turbo Boost Technology 2, Intel HD Graphics 3000, Intel Smart Cache Technology. Integrated memory controller, support two channel, dual channel, DDR3 memory, and a three year limited warranty. Got black tech, white, white text and black back, pretty, pretty dull. There's the CPU itself. Desktop Intel Core i5 processor, a visibly smart performance with a boost. Let's cut this, this safety seal. Handy dandy scissors. Okay, unbox the CPU, however carefully. Okay, as we find with almost every single Intel CPU that comes on the market, we find a crappy heatsink, which you should not use. Double uh, A if you have bought a K series processor, which is intended and designed for high level of overclocking. If the if you use this, there is probably something wrong with you and yeah, just don't use this heatsink. It's not good. They've been using the same design, the same setup, the same pathetic copper slug in the bottom since the Pentium Falls back in back in the day. So you should really not use this. Buy an aftermarket CPU cooler. We got Recyclable packaging here. Just remove that. That comes the CPU itself. Now it says you're probably not going to be able to read that. Uh, Intel Core i5 2500K, 3.3 gigahertz. We can see 1,155 pads on the back, which will associate to your socket 1155 motherboard. Take it out of its little clamshell. We can we can see. The CPU in, in all its glory, all its detail. Now there is, if, if you're watching this you pro and you're considering to considering buying an i5 2500K, you're probably looking at the i7 2600K and the i5 2500K. Now the i7 2600K at the time of filming is about a hundred dollars more expensive than this i5 2500K. And you're probably wondering, well, well, what's the difference? What do I get with my extra $100? Well, basically, the i7 2600K is also an unlocked CPU, except it has better integrated graphics, which you will not be using if you've got a K-series processor anyway, and it has hyper-threading. So it has four physical cores and eight virtual cores, and it also has an extra two megs of CPU cache, which isn't a lot. So, I mean, if you really want to spend that the extra hundred dollars for an i7 2600K, go right ahead. But it, in logical terms, it's just really not that practical. If you've got the little manual here, you've got a Core i5 case badge. You can stick it on your case. The manual tells you how to install it, how not to install it. Thank you for watching the quick unboxing of the Intel Core i5 2500K quad-core CPU unlocked and unleashed.